Okay, we're on problem number 78 now. And again, you know, it really does look nightmarish how many things I have to look at and even write down, which I want to encourage you if you're on an exam, don't copy the problem. Just start working it. Now, the bottom, there's not much I can do about that, but the top, I'll write it down for you. It's kind of delaying what I have to do, which is multiply. And it's going to be x squared e to the x plus 2x e to the x. One of the problems with copying is you can copy incorrectly. And if you do that, you're really just starting the problem all wrong. So I'm going to um, start multiplying. And no, I'm not going to multiply the bottom out. But I'm going to take this x squared and now distribute it across those two terms. What are you going to get? x4 e to the x plus 2x cubed e to the x. Then I'm going to distribute this e to the x across those two terms. We're going to get x squared e to the 2x plus 2x e to the 2x. Not much I can do about that. Let's do this now. Take this term, duplicate these two over here, and again, I'm subtracting them. So what do you get? Minus 2x cubed e to the x minus x squared e to the 2x. All right, I'm kind of looking through this thing, and I, I, you know, immediately I, I notice something. I notice that this term here and this term over here are um, going to sum to zero. All right, so I'm going to check those off. I'm taking care of those two there. Right, I'm kind of looking around for other things to look at, and what do I notice immediately? I notice, I shouldn't say immediately, I notice this now, that those two terms are going to sum to zero. And then what I'm left with, well, just two terms on top, and I'll write that down for you. I'm left off with x to the 4, e to the x, and I'm left off with 2x, e to the 2x. We're left with them bottom, x squared plus e to the x squared. Now, now certainly, when I, when I go through this, I want to point out that I'm kind of looking at um, maybe a, an additional simplification on it, and I will factor it. I'm not going to say it's going to add much to the problem, but I'm going to factor out an x, and I'm going to factor out e to the x. What are you left off with? You're left off with x cubed plus 2 e to the x. All right? Now, I don't think that added much to it. I'm going to say both of these things here are probably pretty good answers. But I do want to look at the restrictions to it. And I want to point out what I'm really kind of looking at is I'm looking at the bottom, right? We're looking at this over here. And the big question is, is it ever equal to zero? Let me write this over here. Does x squared plus e to the x, does that ever equal to zero? Well, let me write this down. e to the x equals minus x squared. I'm going to graph them out. What does it look like? It looks like this. That's what e to the x looks like. I'll write that down for you. And what does the other guy look like? This is the first one. The second one looks like minus x squared, which looks like this over here. There's no points of intersection, by the way, real points of intersection. So I'm going to say... Um, there's no restrictions. Let's look at our K, and I'm looking for it. And do I see it? And what I'm seeing, I'm seeing this answer being listed, which is x4 e to the x plus 2x e to the 2x. And at the bottom, what do you see? You see the quantity x squared plus e to the x squared. Again, you need to multiply it out, but I do see that answer being listed. Thank you.